Let's be seated. Oh, hallelujah. I said hallelujah. I want us to, we, we started something on what makes us an enemy of God, but there's something I want us to consider right now. We'll consider that very briefly and um, see how we can go about it. Luke chapter 6 verse 12. In Luke chapter 6 and verse 12. It came to pass in those days that he went out into a mountain to pray and continued all night in prayers. It came to a pass, he went to a mountain to pray and continued all night. So we want to consider maybe for a month the power of night vigils. We want to consider that so that by the time we'll be done, that, that divine empowerment to wake up at night will be transferred to you. We must understand something that life is all about God. Hmm? It's all about God. All about God. It's when you understand the secrets of God's operation. It's not about what you can do for yourself. First Samuel chapter 2 verse 9. For by strength shall no man prevail. No one can do by yourself. Paul said in First um, Corinthians 15 verse 10. I am what I am by the grace of God. So whatever you become in life, whatever you achieve, is all about God. It's all about God. Popular verse of scripture, Zechariah 4 verse 6. Not by power, not by mind, but by the spirit of the Lord. So it's, it's not your strength. But the truth is, in as much as it's all about God, why is everybody not blessed? If life is just all about God, then God should favor everybody. It should, be, it should show his equality. Acts chapter 10 verse 34 says there's no respect of persons with God. So it should show his equality to everyone. It should just be fair to everybody. Ephesians 6, 9. Colossians 3, 25. God is no respecter of persons. Romans chapter 12, verse 10 says, There is no difference between the Jew and the Greek. The same Lord over all is rich unto all that call upon him. So why is God not just fair to everybody? Second Chronicles 19, verse 7 tells us three things God cannot do. God cannot take gifts, which is like bribe. God has no part in iniquity, and there's no respect of persons with him. I think the same thing was said. So, if you study the Bible back to back, you'll discover that God is no respect of persons. So, he's supposed to just spread that favor, that prosperity on everybody. Why is he not doing that for everyone? It's because only those. How many of you know that even if you are given a brand new car, and giving the key and the door is open you can be there for life until you get in and turn on the ignition and it become worse when you do not know how to drive there are people who have been giving cars and for one month people are driving them two months people are driving them that that boldness some people are just scared of life so what am i saying in as much as god is merciful there are principles that you understand and you trigger god's favor you trigger God's opportunity. You trigger open door. Jesus had a specialty. One of the supernatural strengths, one of the, the, the avenues Jesus drew supernatural strength was praying at night. When the disciples are, they've gone to bed, Jesus will go at night to pray. And every believer must understand this because what helps you to operate a practice and you do it excitedly is when you have the revelation of that practice there are people you don't tell them giving they give with their life because there's a revelation on giving that they possess people struggle with obedience where revelation is not in view obedience becomes easy when revelation that is why you don't tell people to fear god when the revelation of heaven and hell hits them they'll fear